We've got a beautiful view of the skies in Flagstaff, but boy, that road looks icy. This is our storm commander with our crews up working hard in Flagstaff for a second morning in a row. The storm is winding down, but it's going to take a while for all that snow to melt on the roadways. And, you know, Sarah was reporting earlier, it's definitely slippery black ice up there. And you can see a little bit of blue sky. They're poking through the clouds. We still have some light snow expected throughout the day today. Uh, by the afternoon hours, those, that should come to an end. And I will tell you that our winter storm warning is over for this part of the state. How about some snow totals though? Uh, show you what we ended up with. Kachina Village, 14 inches. We ended up with a foot at Forest Lakes, just shy of a foot in Flagstaff. Will Hoyt, six inches. Prescott, five inches. Prescott Valley, three inches. And I've seen reports of four or five inches around the Payson area as well. Winter storm warning again has been allowed to expire earlier this morning for Flagstaff. What little snow you get today is going to be very light in nature. We still have that warning, though, in effect through noon today for eastern Arizona. All of the, the areas are shaded in this magenta color. Now, our next round of watches and warnings is a freeze warning and a hard freeze warning. Light purple here is the hard freeze warning, and that means 28 degrees or below, where a freeze warning is 32 or below. Those are in effect from midnight tonight to 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. This is going to include the Valley metro area with a late season freeze. On tap for us into tomorrow morning. It's a first alert weather day. How cold are we talking? Well, across the desert south of us, 26 for Tucson, 29 for Casa Grande, 25 for Globe. It's going to be a bitterly cold morning in the high country, too. Some uh, readings here below zero for Window Rock, Flagstaff, and the Grand Canyon. For the valley, though, 35 for Sky Harbor. Most spots are going to be colder than that by several degrees, down to 31 for Mesa. Tomorrow morning, 30 for Queen Creek. We may see some upper 20s down in Maricopa and right down to the freezing mark for West Valley communities like Maryvale, Goodyear as well, and 31 for Buckeye. So a very cold morning. Now is the time to protect your plants, cover those up, bring your pets in tonight if you've got outdoor pets and uh, wrap your pipes as well. It's not that often. A couple times a winter we get a freeze warning. And again, this is getting kind of late in the season for that. Cold air flow in behind our latest storm system. Our future cast model showing us again wraparound moisture here. A few light showers in terms of the snowfall in the high country today, but shouldn't be really adding a whole lot to that's measurable to those totals. By tonight into tomorrow morning, though, the skies clear out. We get sunshine for tomorrow, but a, a cold start for sure. Here's a look at the next couple of days in high country spots like Flagstaff. So mid 20s today, upper 20s tomorrow, then 32 degrees for Friday. For Pace and 33 today, but mid 40s by Friday, we'll be in the 30s to 40s for Sedona and a nice little climb for the Grand Canyon as well once that snow stops falling. For the Valley, 56 today and 60 tomorrow. Here's that first alert day just for the morning hours tomorrow. After that, it's going to be a gorgeous Thursday. Nice Friday, breezy and 68 degrees, then lighter winds and warmer temperatures for the weekend. What we're watching for next week, slight chance for rain Monday and Tuesday.